What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here. I have some chai tea with a little bit of oat milk and honey. But I am in the process of putting together a big chicken run to attach to my coop here. We got a lot of boxes on the porch. Earlier today I was working on it, unboxing all of the boxes. All the boxes have been sitting there for like four months and I've been dreading putting it together. But today's the day. I have everything laid out. We got the first panel laid out here, uh, part of the door, three panels, four panels, three panels, four panels. Finley has been not helping. <laughs> He's been secretly grabbing stuff and running away with it, of course. Um, I went ahead and took off the front door to the coop here because this run is actually going to connect to it. So that way the chickens can come out of their, their roost, their little coop, and have a area all to themselves without Finley harassing them. So, Finley, can you not? <sighs> he literally has a plastic piece in his mouth that I need. Oh, you punk. Finley, can I please have it? Is it still in his mouth? Did you drop it? No, it's in there still. <laughs> He's such a punk. Finley, 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 you want some peanut butter? Finley, you want peanut butter? You want some peanut butter? You want peanut butter? That normally works, but I think I might have to sacrifice a plastic piece. They're just like these little clips that um, clip the grates together, so I can always use zip ties. All right, let's get to it. He's literally sitting there panting with the plastic piece just hanging on his tongue. Who does this? Who does this, Finley? I wish I had my phone, but if I could zoom in right here, you could see the green. <laughs> such a punk, such a punk. You know what's pretty crazy and kind of annoying is every single piece of everything is wrapped in plastic. I mean, it literally takes two hours for me to just get all the plastic off of everything. And that's with everything. Like everything you order, man, is always just loaded in plastic. Drives me insane. You want this?
It's the following day right now. This project is definitely gonna take me probably a couple weeks to do because I'll be busy in between then. So I just work on it whenever I can. And plus the time change just changed. So now it's gonna be a whole lot lighter. Finley, come here. You wanna show everybody what you were doing? Look at those paws. Oh my gosh. Finley. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, um, it doesn't get dark at like five anymore. It gets dark at like 7.30. So that gives me more time in the day to do this. But I just finished the first level of the chicken run. Um, as you see, it's gonna butt up to the end of the coop here. I just gotta connect. Oh, Finley, go somewhere. <laughs> Um, the first level right here and then there'll be um, another panel in the middle and then another on top that way it's tall enough so i could just walk in this door right here which this is half the door Woo. walk in do whatever i need to do hang up some perches do some like cool chicken toys in here and it's gonna be their little chicken sanctuary so excited and while we're building the chicken coop, I just want to show you guys my new back patio table. It's kind of a mess right now. I got the boxes everywhere. I just pulled those weeds that will stab you. Um, but this table is actually made out, out of polymer. It's kind of similar to like starboard if you're used to like boats and stuff like that, but it doesn't scratch. Um, super stoked on this table. It lo looks absolutely gorgeous. And this thing is going to last forever. My chickens are hiding under the table from Finley. Look at them. <laughs> Finley does chase the chickens, but if you guys are interested or um, want to check out these polymer tables, check out Family Furniture in Stewart, Florida. If you're familiar with the area, if you're traveling south going, if you're traveling from the south going north, you go over the Roosevelt Bridge, and it's to the left there. I'll put all the information in the link below for Family Furniture, their phone number, addresses. I believe they have three locations, um, but they're just a super cool family owned company. They sell patio furniture, indoor furniture, decor, everything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys like a nice little clip of my back porch when it's all clean and sparkly. <laughs> right now it's kind of a mess, but you guys get the idea. We're doing some backyard updates and I'm super, super stoked. I have a lot of big plans to do here, so. Y'all just tag along, continue to watch, and my dog is the weirdest dog. He's just licking the inside of that container. Anyways, we're gonna get back to building this coop. Well, we are getting some work done. I started on the second level, as you guys can see here. This is the door. It's like a two, two door get up right here. I did mess up already though. This panel right here is like three inches shorter than all the other ones because that panel goes on the roof. So I got to take that one off, undo these clips. Luckily, it's just that one panel, I hope, but I notice it sooner than later, thank God. Um, the only part I'm gonna have trouble with is connecting this run to the coop because Finley decided to chew up the manual that I left out here. So I'm just gonna wing that, but that's a little update. Uh, tomorrow I'm going spearfishing uh, for Cobia off of Palm Beach. So I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. I'm gonna get a lot done, at least the second level. And then I might need help um, putting the roof on after tomorrow, after we go spearfishing, so. I'm just happy I'm getting it done. You don't understand, these boxes have been sitting on the side of my house for like four months.
Are you guys ready for the final product? Ta -da! This chicken coop's pin area is absolutely perfect. Predator proof locks. Boom, boom. Watch out, little guys. Sorry. I would let you roam the yard, but Finley's out here and he'll just chase you guys around. But this is some chia seed and uh, lentils? Lentils, I think they're called. I just grew them so they could um, pick and eat some of these because they're really good for chickens. Got their five gallon water container, food bowl, another water container, this perch right here, which let me tell you guys something about this perch. So the wild chicken, as you guys know, um, the other morning I was laying in bed, it was probably like 7.40, pushing eight o'clock, and I hear, like a terrible cockadoodle do. Well, I guess the wild chicken, I don't know if she like took dominance or something over the flock, but she was trying to cockadoodle do on this perch. I'll show you guys that right here. So yeah, that was really interesting. Um, we have these rods right here in the middle to help support everything. Um, this is just perfect for when I do travel and I'm out of the country or out of the state or out of town. Um, I know my chickens are not going to be eaten by any predators. No, no, no. Stay. Sorry. Stay there. <laughs> so that's just 
eases my mind and I'm super stoked. And it's also super clean looking, you know, I like the dark green galvanized wire. Um, it just makes it look really nice. So this is the finished product. We got the coop. Oh, hello, Finn. Nice of you to join us. My avocado tree. Coop butts up to here. I actually kind of messed up here. Um, there was like some way to connect this, but I just kind of like zip tied it. Anyways, we're all good. It works. So yeah, this is it. Um, I have a lot to do to the backyard still. It's going to take some time. Um, I started kind of like a little orchid plant thing going on over here, but I want to go ahead and put some gravel and some stones around it. I got to get a new fence, as you guys can tell. It's actually the neighbor's fence. Um, so I got to see if I can't maybe go half and half on them with it. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of collapsing over there. I have a fillet table I need to build still, which I'm going to build it right here and then get a little nice shed uh, under that umbrella shutter just to organize the chicken food, put that fire pit and everything like that. Eventually get uh, hurricane windows and doors. So we got a lot to do, but you guys, this orchid right here, I don't know what it's called, but when it's bloomed, mm, it smells so good. I had to remove it from over there and stick it on my, on my back patio because it smells so good. Oh wait, before we end this video, I want to show you guys my papaya trees because they're huge. I don't know if you guys remember me planting these, but check it out. I mean, they're literally as tall as me now. Actually, they're taller than me now. So I'm super stoked for some papayas. I think these are some little ones growing right now. Look how cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Finley's over there harassing the dead branches on the ground. But guys, if you've been watching the channel, you know I've been all over the place. I've been traveling everywhere. Um, but I do want to do little home vlog updates for you guys every now and then just because it's fun, it's easy, and it's free <laughs> for the most part. But right now this video is ending. Be sure to check out my salmon video from Michigan. I'll put the link in the description below. It was an epic time with Captain Kirk, top shelf fishing charters. Be sure to check out that video, but right now this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and leave a positive comment below and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Finley, you wanna close it out? <laughs>